That was fascinating, wasn't it? Now, there's a lot of conversations going on about the Benin bronzes. Some museums in Germany, museums in Britain and all over the world are talking about returning some of those bronzes back to Benin, back to Nigeria. Let's see how all that goes. Still on history, up next is Kunda Kids. We've had them before on this show. They're doing amazing work producing a series of books that are preserving African history and sharing them with our children. Enjoy this report. It's a convergence of book lovers who have come to witness the unveiling of two exciting new books, King Albury Cooks the Best Jollof and Queen Morimi Makes a Promise. These books are part of Africa's Little Kings and Queens series by Kunda Kids. traveled to the market along a winding trail. They liked to look at beautiful clothes and taste the yummy food for sale. It is Morimi's birthday and one of the biggest events in the place where everyone gathers to have fun and celebrate her grace. Her birthdays have the tallest cake cakes and the brightest decorations. So everyone dresses the impress for a grand celebration. Once the palace is full, the haunt uh, announce that Queen Moremi is near. And as she arrives, the crowd smiles from year to year. Everyone sings happy birthday to you. While the palace prepares to serve delicious Yoruba food, Moremi knew that Essie was the best seeker in all of the land. When it came to finding things, Essie always had a plan. She walked to Essie's cabin and knocked on the door. Moremi was unsure whether Essie would want to know what she came for. She explained that she missed her friend and the strength of their sisterhood and promised to share all her gifts like she said she would. Dili Olafui, co-founder of Kunda Kids, says the primary aim of the project is to curb lack of diversity in children's literature. We want to open the doors of Kunda Kids to everybody if you have good stories uh bring it would we'll help you illustrate we'll probably should put it out there we'll do as much as we can because what we are trying to do is we need to solve the problem of lack of diversity in children's books we need to put out as many titles as possible we know to solve this problem we actually need to go digital um i'm excited to say very soon we're going to be launching a kunda kids app um, the Kunda Kids app is going to be mind-blowing because it's going to be a platform that's going to have uh, books, 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 books. So that's a place where we could say, okay, let's try and see if we can publish four books a month on the app. Let's see if we can put, because uh, the main essence is a lot of kids have tablets and, uh, you know, tablets these days, so there's no need uh running away from it uh let's just embrace that and put as many stories as possible um so that i the goal that i want kunda kids to achieve within the next year is on the app which a child should be able to read a different story every month the representative of the house of ududua foundation prince adekunle adeyemo expresses his thoughts on the book and highlights the importance of referencing ilefe the ancestral home of queen morimi we own morimi as of ududua owns morimi oh near of ifa owns morimi you can't do anything because we are the legal and the traditional custodians of queen morimi and there's a global ambassador 
of Morimi, Princess Ronke Ademiluyi. So you want to do anything about Morimi? It's just courtesy that you come to us to take our consent and approval. We are not going to say no to you. Because the more the merrier, the more you do things about Morimi, the more it propagates the story of Morimi, the more the whole world will get to know Morimi. Indeed, the Kunda Kids books create an avenue for children to know their historical backgrounds. Ayo Uyeku, the author of Queen Morimi Makes a Promise, says there are key skills he wants the readers to know. The story of Queen Morimi dates back to my childhood um, when my mother personally told the story to me when I was very young and the story stuck to my mind right from then and now as an adult I just felt like um, there's that gap in today's children where they don't know most of the um, historical stories about our roots. So I felt like, okay, how can we help to close this gap? And I decided to work on this story and put a lot of fantastic into it. We want kids to be able to see themselves in the books that they read, which is very important. It will help to boost their self-confidence, you know, and um, many, many more lessons like, okay, another one is the, the courage to say sorry. When you're wrong, when you do something that is not right, you must find the courage to go and apologize and set things right. A parent wants other parents to relate African history to their kids. Without the past, there's no future. Without history, without allowing our children to learn about history, we can't create a future. So it's important to create the future we need. It's important to know what happened in the past and put it in perspective so we create a better future for our children. It's important that every parent gets copies of these books because these books tell, tell, tells us about so many things that we've lost in history. And it's important that we know about our history so that our children are informed. They don't become foreigners and aliens in different parts of the world. But they basically know where they're from and they're proud of their heritage. So it's important we get the series very interesting, simple to read for our younger children that informs them of their heritage and they're proud of it. And so I know that our children, that there's, there's a lot happening around us. When children know their past, they can create and create a better future for themselves and the world at large. The books, King Albrecht Cooks the Best Jollof and Queen Moremi Makes a Promise, are fun to read while educating, preserving and promoting culture. And this is where we have to end the show today. As always, we'll be delighted to get your feedback through any of our social media platforms displayed on your screen. My name is Ola Kunle Kasumo. Remember, one great book can change your life. Bye-bye.